Welcome back to my workshop. Now, I promise today is going to be a short video. Uh, all I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox and have a quick look at this, which is the Stanley Fat Max torch. Okay, it's a V20 torch to go with my other batteries that I've already got. So let's not muck around, let's get it out of the box. Right, so before we pull it out of the box, you want to know what it is. It is the SFMCL020B, okay? It's a Stanley Fat Max torch. Uh, this is the body only, not the battery, okay? I already have batteries like this. I've got a four amp hour and a two amp hour. Uh, now these batteries I got when I bought my previous Stanley V20 range purchases. Uh, the multi-tool, the jigsaw, and the angle grinder. Now, I've got videos for all of these. If you're interested, uh, they can be found here. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, and all of those, when I bought those, I got a spare battery, okay? I redeemed a free battery. Uh, so I've got plenty of batteries kicking around. Uh, so I thought, why not buy a torch? I've got a perfectly good torch here. Okay, why buy another one? Well, why not? Okay, right. Now let's get out of the box. Right, the first thing we notice is there's nothing really fancy schmancy about the uh, packaging. Uh, it actually says on the bottom of the box here that all materials used in the Stanley Fat Max packaging are 100% recyclable and chlorine free. Okay, so yeah, they're doing a bit for the environment. Uh, right, what's he got on here? Okay, 18 volt flashlight. Okay, which obviously goes with the V20 version of batteries. Uh, 140 lumens, okay, that's obviously how bright it is. Uh, this bit goes on about the battery life, which is ironic because this is a body only, okay. But let's see what's in there. Uh, free year guarantee requires online registration. So normally when I buy Stanley Fat Max tools, I normally register them online anyway. Okay, V20. Okay, just in case you've forgotten. Let's get it out of the box and see what happens. Struggle. Oh, I've ripped it. That's torn it. Ugh. Right, nothing else in the box. Let's discard that. Okay, you get the torch itself. In a plastic bag, which is obviously going to end up in the waste. Uh, right, and then you get instructions. Okay, I don't suppose you need much in the way of instructions to use a torch. Uh, shows you how to charge the battery. This is all about the battery. Okay, and it also shows you about a clip. Okay, that goes on here. That's obviously to hook it on your belt. Uh, but it doesn't look like we got one of those in a packet. Okay, I'll have a look over those later, but I'm sure we can figure it all out. Let's have a look at the torch itself. Uh, right, uh, first of all, oh, right, the top pivots, which is nice. So you can obviously point it like this, or you can do this, which is very nice. Okay, it's got a trigger. Now, I don't know whether that latches on or not. Okay, a rubberized handle, and then the usual V20 fitting. Okay, on the bottom here, which you probably can't see, let me try and focus. Okay, now there is a serial number, or a product manufacturing date number, I think, that you will need when you register the tool online. Okay, that's just to save you mucking about and trying to find it. Uh, Right, it says LED here. It's got three LEDs. Right, should we stick a battery on it and see how good it is? Okay, got one of the V20 batteries. Okay, and, oh, on. Okay, so once you push it on, it latches on. Okay, so you haven't got to hold, the, hold your finger on the trigger. All right, well, it's a torch and it lights up. Yeah, 
very nice. It's quite nicely balanced. Okay, and as I say, you can stand up like that. Right, let's see what it's like in the dark room. Right, I'm going to turn the lights off so uh, we can see nothing. Oh, that's pretty dark. Right, and three, two, one. There you go. Now, I don't know how well the camera is going to pick this up, but that looks pretty good to me. Right, what else can we do here? Oh, it's dark. Right, what I'm going to quickly do now is uh, it's dark outside now because it's about six o'clock. Uh, I'm going to quickly look outside with the torch uh, into the dark garden and see how good it is. So let's get out of the workshop. Right, exiting through my side gate. Here we go. There's a fence. And there's me alleyway. Yeah, it's very dark. Okay, 3T1. Ooh, yeah. So now you get a better idea of what it's like in the dark. Okay, and off and on. Yeah, I think that's quite bright enough, don't you? Right, it's not only dark, it's bloody freezing. Let's get back in the workshop. Right, well, there's not really a great deal to say. Uh, it's a very nice thing, uh, just looking at it. This is obviously a four amp hour battery. Uh, and this is a two amp hour battery, so both of them fit. Both of them work okay. Okay, uh, but the demonstration with the lights on probably didn't work very well because you can't really see the difference. But what I'm going to do is, this is the old torch I've been using for the last four or five years, and this has been more than bright enough, okay? So this has been bright enough. So what I want to do is quickly show you with the lights off again, my old light, compared to the new Stanley one and see how much of a difference there is. It does mean I've got to turn the lights off again. Don't go away. Right, so first off, here's my old torch. Okay, now this has been more than bright enough for my general use. Okay, and then this is the Stanley torch. It's a lot brighter. Okay, so, yeah, that's good. Right, I think that's about it. It's not much else to say about a torch. Uh, I've had a look through the instructions. Doesn't really tell you a lot, but it does tell you in a couple of different languages. Okay, this was from Tool Station. Okay, uh, it cost me about 19 pound, which is half price. Now, normally it's about 40 something pounds. Now, it's just the body, okay? Very lightweight thing, but I got this for £19. Occasionally they do these for £19 and they sell out really quickly. Okay, looks like it's going to be a good thing. Uh, body only, but if you've got the V20 range of batteries, then this will be pretty good. Okay, I think it's going to be good for my collection and uh, I don't know about you. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, where's the bloody light switch? <laughs>